We're going to have courts that work for us. We're going to have Congress that's diverse. 2016, to have, and this is just being nice, 99.9 .9 white, 90.9 all white Senate, United States Senate. And then a Congress you might as well say the same thing with all those half Negroes they have up in there. But they have already been served with eviction. They have already been asked to leave, but they're still there. So this is why we as the people, we have a legal and lawful duty and right to go in and overthrow these terrorists that's controlling and running our government. This despotism government that's not working on behalf of our people. Something's wrong with the picture when you sit up there. Quiet. Your voice matters. Your voice needs to be heard. Your rights need to be exercise. Action needs to be seen, not just mere words. And enough of these foolish opportunists and representatives like Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson that they just keep throwing out and laughing. Listen to them. Watch them. They're just as stupid and as ignorant as they can be. They're house Negroes, you all. House Negroes. And when they come out and do what they're told to do in this Jewish controlled media that you know gives you the information, the misinformed information that they want to ram down your throat and try to get you to think and believe. Who do you think they do? Most likely just return right back to their home and collect a big fat paycheck. Just like this clown Al Sharpton in his what cable show he has. What has he done? Do you think they would have given Martin Luther King a show like that? No. Do you think they would have given Malcolm X a show like that? No. Because they were not sellouts. And I'm asking you all to work with us. You know, because the goal is, like I said, to promote a race war. But see, we've got the power. We've got the law on our side. As the Declaration of Independence. We're give us the legal, lawful, duty, right, and obligation to overthrow. Yes, I'm going to use that word, overthrow a despotism government. Not only that, when they have the military out here, just like in the Michael Brown matter, with the guns all up in your face, that's none other than Baker law firms like Baker, Donaldson, Beerman, Caldwell, and Berkowitz controlling that. The military is supposed to be out there on our side. Protecting us rather than those white supremacists with those guns in our face. Enough of the foolishness. Enough of the foolishness. If anything, they should be up there surrounding the White House, surrounding Congress, rounding those criminals up and bringing them to justice. Along with their lawyers and law firms like Baker, Donaldson, Beerman, Caldwell, and Berkowitz. So I'm going to close because... I just wanted to give you something to think about, to put on your mind and to think about. We're living in a police state. We're living in a very hostile state because we're under attack from white supremacist terrorist groups as Jewish Zionists in the Ku Klux Klan and the likes of them. And they've got to go. They're bringing drugs into our communities. They're bringing guns into our community. And then they use the Jewish media to try to make it seem like we're just that bad. Just to keep you all distracted. Did you all see, for instance, this year, in 2015, where the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's father-in-law shit was stopped with all that crack cocaine or drugs on it? Where do y'all think those drugs were going to wind up at? Surely not in what they call their prominent and affluent white neighborhoods. No. Where do 
you think the black and African Americans are getting these guns? Enough of the foolishness. If they're going to bring that trash in our community, bring the weapons in the community, wake up people, wake up. It is time to wake up. We've got the power, we've got the money, the land, property, and resources. This is why they're trying to come through in, and illegally take it through this gentrification called urban renewal. No, we've already got it. No, they live. This is our turf, and they cannot have it. enough of the Let them move on out. Integration and desegregation was just a part of them, like the Baker Dawson, them writing this legislation just to gain access into our communities. Like the Indians, believe them, those fork tongues, white fork tongues, that they were going to do them well. Look what happened to the Indians. They wound up on the reservations. Now look what they're trying to do through urban renewal. Come through and take our land and property from us. Enough is enough. On our website forums, things that's already posted, we are going to share with you, hopefully, information that you will find very educational and information that you can spread to others. We are working because many have heard that comedian, when Obama was on that comedian show, asked him something like, how does it feel to be the last black president? See, that's just what he is, their president. But we're going to work this thing out because we've got the power and we're going to put and take back the government that has been stolen by this despotism government. We have a legal lawful duty to overthrow this despotism government that the United States is currently run under. Not only that, the likes of the Baker Donaldson, the Klan's law firm, different ones. We can do it. We the people, we can do it. The Declaration of Independence is one example, but there's many other laws out there. And they're operating in violation of laws like the Ku Klux Klan Act. So I want to thank you all for taking the time to stop by, continue to come back and visit. Please, I ask that you all start thinking, sharing the information with others, start your meetings, start collectively coming together. I want you all to know that I love you. Again, I would not be doing this if I didn't love you. I'm not doing this because I don't have anything better to do with my time. That is a lie. I'm doing this because I love you all. I care about you all. I don't believe the lies they're trying to project and put in our minds about each other. That our youth are worthless. That they're all dumb. They're all ignorant. If that's the case, they wouldn't be after you. If they weren't so afraid of you all and the power within you all, they wouldn't be after you all. They wouldn't be, as they say, bring the guns in, bring the drugs in. That's just how much power you all have. That's just how much they fear you all. So no, we're going to have the courts that we want. We're going to have the Congress that we want. And we're going to have the President of the United States that we want. Eviction has been served. Their time has run out. And it's time for them to go. So visit my forums. Use the documents out there. Like I said, and spread the word. It's real like seeds. It doesn't just stop right here. Spread it abroad. Let it flourish. Spread the wisdom around that you're so afraid of. Share the power and information that's within you. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it again. Um, you can support us through your love, respect, honor for one another. Getting this information 
as well as providing financial donations. Like I said, five dollars, just five dollars or more. If each one of you all took the time just to share five dollars, can you imagine where we could go with five dollars for each one of you all or more? Like I said, we want to get things set up. We want to get the conference number set up for you all so that you all can listen in on it. We want to continue to distribute the information, get the information out to you all. But right now, all that presently is coming out of my pocket or through the donations that some have already been shared. But keep in mind that the printing of documents, getting the information out, the, the paying of bills, that's really important. So that's where your donations will come. So if you can start today, right after you hear this video, and go and support just with five dollars or more, just start you know start somewhere. Start somewhere. That's how you can help. This is how you can support the work in bringing about the change that you say you so most want, likely want and need. We've got to restore our communities. I was sharing with Monique, we are going to have to go back in the times as when the churches were being used for schools, the school systems are not working. They have come in, and I say the Klan, the Jews, the, the white supremacist law firms such as Baker Dawson, Beerman, Caldwell, and Brooke was written the legislation and laws that take the funding away from our schools here in Utica, Mississippi. They have gone up there and illegally pulled the fundings away from an HBCU campus in school. They have illegally shut down Heinz Community College's Heinz AHS High School. That's on that campus. And from my understanding, their plan is to turn the Utica Junior College campus, that's now under the name Heinz Community College, the Utica branch, into a private satellite prison. Well, we are here to address such issues and such foolishness. They illegally and unlawfully took over that college up there. Okay? By writing certain legislation laws, pulling away funding, all to circumvent what's called laws like the Ku Klux Klan Act. That's why all they're doing, see, it's all a waste of time because I'm putting the information out there to educate you so you can spread it to others. That land is not, does not legally nor lawfully belong to Heinz Community College. Mm -mm. No, it does not. That is an HBCU, Historically Black College University. They get funding for that. And the processes and procedures in which the deceptive practice of the likes of Baker, Donaldson, Beerman, Caldwell, and Berkowitz in their efforts to circumvent the laws and to take control of our HBCUs, black colleges and universities because they want to put the information in here the way they want us to, get it, is unacceptable. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you for taking the time to come out of your busy schedule to allow me to share with you my appreciation and my gratitude to you. Not only that, to God for allowing me, giving me the wisdom and the knowledge to share the information with you so that you can be the seed, so that you can be the flower, so that you can blossom and spread the word to others, so that your wings can be out there, so that others may see you flying and soar and be the eagle. You all be blessed. And I love you, like I said, with my heart, wholeheartedly. And this is why I do what I do. I believe in you. I trust in you. The power lies within you. Use that power for good. Use the power that God has placed within you. Be encouraged regardless of how tough it may get, regardless to how bad it may look, I want you all to be encouraged. Continue to keep the faith. Continue to unite together. To 
continue to spray the brush. Continue to spray and spray. We the people. We the people. We the people have the power, the money, the land, property, and other resources that they are so afraid of, that they are so desperately now to become trying to destroy because they are afraid of the people. You all be blessed and have a good day.